Not you, how old, Nick? I'm trying to get that no, little wet mark off. No, I want to keep my own sock a little different. That ain't never a concern. As late as your ass be, you know you want your tail. Oh, all that shit we just, I mean, all that stuff we just said. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hi, you guys. It's Beauty Bar Chronicles. My name is Pamela. I am a manicurist and the owner of Fashion Savvy Beauty Bar. I'm Brittany. I am the owner of B3 Hair, a hair care specialist. I am Siobhan. I am a hairstylist, hair care specialist as well. I am Miko. Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. I am the <laughs> owner of Miko Tatum Signature Collection lipsticks, um, lip liners, just all things for makeup. Combination. I know, right? <laughs> and I'm also the esthetician at Fashion Savvy Beauty Bar who specializes in aesthetics and everything beauty. All right. So today we're going to talk about, it's going to be quick. We're going to talk about a couple of things. First, we're going to talk about what we feel about the industry and how it has evolved. I've been a manicurist since I was, I don't know, 12, which was like a couple of years ago. <laughs> since when? <laughs> World. Oh, sorry. Dog here? Oh, well, I mean, I can't hear. <laughs> and we are the same age. What happened? <laughs> um, but you for me, the, the industry. Around. You said what? <laughs> That's not even if you switch the numbers around. <laughs> Never heard. We about to stop this. <laughs> Cut. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Say it. Sorry about that. The original state of the industry. Girl. Yes. And how it is. have transpired. In 2023. And I can get up. I can enlighten you guys on schooling because I am the one who recently got her license. Yay! No. Congratulations. It ain't been that recent. You can. I'm just saying though, but, but the crazy thing is, my nails are I didn't just bad. start. I've always done makeup for years. I ain't gonna say but how many. started a new venture. Yeah, the, the new field. venture. Well, I got leak. I got licensed for it. Uh huh. Yeah. But the <laughs> point is, is, the schooling. I'm like, I had a conversation with um, Brittany the other day about people doing apprenticeships. Oh, yeah. Because when I tell you guys, when I went to school, honestly, they don't teach you anything. It's honestly just the basics. It's the basics. Just the, do you guys think they only teach you to pass the state boards? Absolutely. No, they don't even teach you that anymore. Oh, well, I Remember, I, I knew everything that was on state point. board it's was nothing. Because we've been a very long time. Very long time. <laughs> you got a lot of nerves. <laughs> Yeah, but they don't teach you. You know, it has been a very long time since I was in school. And, I mean, even then, I feel like they just... You have to have a passion. You have to have a passion. I feel like the skill sets that we all have came from us wanting to do what we do. So, let's 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 talk about that. So, I think now people are like, oh, I want to be a hairstylist, so I'm going to go to school. Did you start doing hair at home? Like maybe right. like playing with your baby it, dolls. Yeah. Don't you think? Like I feel like. So it's, I think a part of that is social media because mm-hmm. social yes. media it hypes it. a mm-hmm. lot of things up to make it look more than what it actually is. That's right. Um, people don't realize the amount of work that it takes to put into this industry mm-hmm. to be successful. Absolutely. Um, people mm-hmm. look at success as the amount of money that you make, but the question is, is you know, what do you want your brand to look like? You know, or the number of followers if we're talking about that, social media. That is yeah. well, mm-hmm. which that is, is not well. always the case. So, again, is it the quality or the quantity that mm-hmm. means something to you? Absolutely. Like, did you start doing hair, Siobhan, before you went to school? Like, were you doing hair? Uh, before? Yeah, yes. Okay. I was doing friends. Same. It, mm-hmm. it didn't even start with baby dolls. It started with my friends. It started with me mm-hmm. because. You know, I was my mother always took me to get my hair done, but I would get home and you not like your hair. Yeah, not completely <laughs> like it. So, so I would Uh-oh. so I would do Mama things to you. tweak it. Oh, she know. <laughs> so I did. I would do things to tweak it. You know, to make it what I wanted. And then my friends, oh, who did your hair? Me. Okay. So you know, I they. They were my guinea pigs. That's how I started makeup with y'all. Yeah, and Mm -hmm. then and then I had a baby sister who became mine. So I had to do her hair. What about you, Brittany? When did my first kid? It was the same with me too. I started out um, on myself. Call me your edges. Yeah, because that's what you said. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. call me my edges. It started out with myself, and then it kind of spread it to family members, friends. Um, and then at an early age, I had the opportunity to become an assistant. Um, I think I was 15 when I did that, but it was a very good experience. I learned a lot. 
I worked under some very talented stylists um, that were able to teach me some of the things or a lot of the things that they don't teach you in school. Absolutely. So that was a very good opportunity to um, build my skill set. Okay, Miko. Um, for me, I started out doing makeup on you guys. Mm-hmm. I, w- I mean, that you guys all wore the same thing, but it was me first too. me, and then I would <laughs> line. Don't even because I would line y'all up, do y'all makeup, and then y'all would look at pictures me. now and be like, "Why you let me wear this shirt? Why did you?" I look at it and I'd be like, idea. "Why? Why did I put that silver on y'all?" But well, wait, that white, that silver, yes. yes. Silver. Oh baby, yeah. but yeah. I, it started out like that, and then how I end up? Let's tell the truth, Tamala. How I end up working for cosmetic brands. Don't try to put that on me and distract. I'm the tree. No, the tree was in here. Is she was being Tamala nice filled sister. out a application for me to work for Mac. I'm still trying to figure out how she got my social security number, but they called me like we receive your um, Mac your application um, for employment. I'm like, what are you guys talking about? She was like, you fill out an inf- application to work for Mac. I said, did I? No clue. The lady was like, yeah, we want to. I don't think we need to revisit the past. We do. We're here now. (laughs) We do. So, in an anyway, in this, being that way, I had built up a clientele already doing makeup at home. Then I went and worked for Mac. Then I, Smashbox. Then Nordstrom's. And all of these people, I felt like just doing all of that, I started building up my clientele. So, my makeup clientele was already built. I didn't have to be licensed to do makeup. I had to be licensed to do the waxing and the facials and everything. But again, in this industry, if you want to win, you have to pretty much, just, I feel like it's self-taught or follow somebody or be under somebody, like you said, that has the skills or doing the things you want to. They're it's not teaching you that in school. It's, it's a desire to. Absolutely. It's so many classes. Um, there is a lot of education in the industry for you to tap into. It's beauty outside shows. School. Outside of school, there are beauty shows, multiple classes by highly... Uh, skilled professionals that are willing to teach you um not just the fundamentals but are they setting you up to win okay yeah so, absolutely all right so with that let's talk about, okay i was 12 i was the basement booth doing nails a long time i still have my first client which is shiny <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Shawnee's my first client. I was your first client. Okay, I'm y'all, I'm trying to pay. I had to pay? pay? What did you pay? I don't know, but I had to wear them nails. Girl, 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 Ooh. Don't listen to them. Ooh, <laughs> well, anyway, we're past that. Oh, you wow. said what? It, it was, was so thick. thick. <laughs> so thick. Y'all nailed it. Lasted. It lasted. And then Tam <laughs> pulled out the airbrush machine. Remember oh, we used to all get yes. airbrush? Yes. Tam used to airbrush Damn. nails. Oh, we sorry. used to have charms hanging off our I know you ain't talking. I yes, remember yes. your outfit um, stories from when she listen, showed up. We had airbrush. We had rhinestones. We had she puncture in the nail with the charms hanging. I work for my money. All right. So with that, when we're talking about the industry and things that you can do, what do you guys think about like being in an open floor salon or beauty bar versus being in the suites? Well, (laughs) you know, it was never, I never wanted to be in the suites. We ended up in the suites. We worked in the suites for four years, almost five five years. years. Five years. Yeah. Yeah. But because... I mean, it was the circumstances of how we ended up there. I prefer open floor salon because I prefer, I enjoy, um, you know, the camaraderie with mm-hmm. the other stylists right. and, and clients. And also, you learn. Mm-hmm. You, you Because you get to see and watch other stylists. You know, techniques that... Products? You, Products, techniques, everything. Like things that you didn't know or didn't think to use or didn't think to do. And you, you know, work together. Exactly. Yeah. It's just. Because it's only so much information you're going to get at the beauty supply. So it, for right. me, because and I work and I'm the only manicurist here. So it's not like I work with other manicurists. Mm-hmm. But again, when we worked in the suites, we were always like in each other's rooms right. and right. trying to see. But for me, I didn't get. The interaction with everyone else's clients right. and you know speaking with them again I have a fashion brand right. so you know people didn't come get to see the items or things that I may have been selling or right. anything Absolutely. just being in a room unless you came to you my door yeah, way out. I feel like the clients 
the clients form relationships. Oh, very much so. They form yeah. bonds and relationships, and some some even grow outside of the salon. Oh yeah, very true. With me being an esthetician, I am behind walls because of some of the services I provide. But my brother-in-law has made it where I have no ceiling, so I don't feel like I'm. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm in a suite at all. I will yell. You guys, this is a very polished room. Do not listen. Go check out Fashion Savvy Beauty Bar and look at her room. Oh she my room! Well, she doesn't have a ceiling. But so. I like that because I don't feel like I'm left out. I don't feel like I'm back there. She hears everything. Oh my! I can hear everything she from the front see. door. And yeah. you, you're right. I don't miss nothing. Um, my clients are back there. We hear Red, What you say? Yeah. <laughs> my clients are back there. The other day, my client laughed so hard from the conversation. I called Siobhan. All right, Siobhan, you acting like Wednesday Adam. She said you remember she um, fed the boy to the piranhas. I was like. <laughs> She me. <laughs> <laughs> My client thought it was. I think she coming here for laughs at this point. Like she. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. She's like, I, I have to get this little thing. It's just you can't just put it on. But I oh. think a lot of the clients do think. enjoy coming in. <laughs> yeah. You know, to interact with the stylist mm -hmm. or you know the workers, one another, one another. Yeah. other clients like Siobhan yeah. said, yeah. relationship. Not workers, but I mean the other ladies that work here. We are the workers, honey, because last week we earned all them going. We right. humped. Yeah, yeah. We got people humped. together, dressed from head to toe, hair, from nails, to makeup. Toe. I feel like that we was, was helping so them with their shoes. Yeah, that was a lot no of girl. Fun. Yeah, that was Friday, right? Uh, Friday, Friday, Friday. 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 Yeah. That oh, that would make a lot of sense, Friday. <laughs> but I feel like it was it was a good. It's day. what we love to do, though. Yeah. Yeah, we so. love to bounce off of each other. We do. All right, so you want to talk about your shoes and how? You said you're going to tell the people how they need to work in comfortable shoes. Oh, that was your. I mean, it's, it is important though. And like, the compression socks don't oh, don't, let, don't pass on that. Absolutely. Um, I, I it takes ten minutes to get them on, but they work. It's definitely. What you say? It takes ten minutes to get them bad boys uh, yeah, on, yeah, but they work. But you're going to appreciate yeah. it when you lay down. Yes, yeah, like, ma'am. Listen. So, but at the end of the day, in life, that part. <laughs> So is so, that part of self care? It is. That part is a very um, vital part of your work. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Mine too. It really is. So self care is definitely important in this oh. industry because you definitely have to take time to take care of yourself. The industry that we work in, it can be very demanding where you don't really get the opportunity to take time to eat drink enough water, eat healthy at that as well. We do um, pretty good with that here. We so. do. We do. There are, we do. But there are a lot of stylists that don't incorporate that time in their schedules There's to be able clients. to. Right. I didn't always, for sure. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I, I think that it definitely depends on where you are. It, it where does. You are. It so does. that goes to the camaraderie of the salon. Absolutely. Like we yeah. kind of hold each other accountable in here for certain things. Like Absolutely. you drinking your water. We're a great Absolutely. team. Yeah, yeah. Sure. We support one another. Yeah, and I think that's important in the industry when you're in salons or suites or whatever you choose to be in. That's something we all have talked about and discussed for years. How we like being able to be like, what? That's not what you said you were doing. Or you know things like yeah. that. We like, all meet we in the like kitchen. Doing yeah, doing things together. We do even outside of the salon. Absolutely, like, it, just, it yeah. doesn't end. A prime here. example: the wine trip. Yeah, that Girl. was a law. We was, all agreed. Let's take the day off. Shut so up. Yeah. Nobody was here yeah. on a Saturday. Not one. Your person. clients are like, "What are y'all doing?" We're like wine tour. They're like, "Wait, what?" They were like, "Oh wow, that was amazing." I it think was, we needed that. It we actually had fun. It was yeah. fun. We did a lot of laughing. A lot. That's a lot. Oh my god. Um, that's cool. Oh, sorry. Oh, Back to self care. <laughs> that was part of really, self care, though. Yeah, like, yeah. She, she really was just taking the time. I, I, I needed it. <laughs> yeah, she, life gets to life she, sometimes. When she laughed. We could not get her together for that picture. We were like, let's just make it a laugh picture at this point. Everybody when she laugh laughs, she, it's hard to stop her, y'all. Yeah. Like, she will be red in the face. You'll be like, girl, she'll be like, okay, I'm almost ready. No, you're not. <laughs> Um, but self-care is important. Very so important. tell me what you guys think about self-care and how you think it's important for like yourself or your clients and what you think that you offer to clients as far as like teaching them or, you know, having them understand about self-care, like as far as your business and what you do. For myself, because I am a hair care specialist or a stylist, um, I do encourage women to take care of their hair, right? Mm -hmm. That is... Um, a large part of my brand um, and even with a lot of people think that taking care of your hair is just coming in 
for regular visits. That's not always the case. Um, a lot of people don't understand that hair care also comes from the inside as well. Um, mm -hmm. If you have a balanced diet, if you're drinking enough water, if Take you're getting your enough rest, if you're yeah. taking the proper supplements, all of those things play um, a factor Major. into making sure that your hair is where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a part of health excuse me, self-care. Do you have these conversations with your clients sometimes? Oh, absolutely. Especially when you get the client in here and you know they are not doing anything outside of absolutely. what you do. Absolutely. I've had multiple okay. conversations and with sir, clients. Please stop coming in here telling us that you drink a lot of water and that you put moisturizer on your face. And the esthetician, nail tech, hairstylist can tell. <laughs> no. We <laughs> can tell your skin, oh, your scalp, yeah. your hair. It yes. is dehydrated, dehydrated on our end. So we <laughs> have it on our end. It starts from the inside out. It yeah. does. It Extra shedding, all of those things, dry, breakage, that comes from the mm -hmm. inside out. And a lot of people do not understand that. And it's the season, you guys. Like we're, for, yes. In Michigan, Change we're going into season. fall. Yes. Yes. So our fall here is, and winters can be brutal for brutal. your skin. I can tell skin in your nails if you're not... Like drinking water, you use like, fatty acid. Yeah, That's I can tell doing. from looking at someone. Yeah, I is. don't even have to put my hand yeah. on your face. I can tell mm -hmm. people who are dull. consistent with their regimen. It's probably a different glow that they have. No, it's dull. It's, it's, dull. it's, it's, you're, it's yeah, it's, it's a different glow. It's not even that people be like, I'm um, I got dry skin. No, honey, you dehydrated. You mm -hmm. have dehydrated skin. Yeah. There is a difference. Mm -hmm. But being an esthetician and being with self care, people. Sometimes I feel like people come in and they think self-care is I get my hair done and my nails done. I've had conversations with many of the clients about what about, about your skin care? What are we doing? Well, here? let me ask you this. Your stress levels. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to okay. lay these chairs together and create one couch. Right. I mean, we can't. <laughs> part cheers two, to self-care. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for part two. Right. right. So... With self care, so when people come in, do you think that they think an esthetician is like a? They don't even. Do you think sometimes they don't think it's part of self care? Meaning, absolutely. They just think it's like an extra service that they need to get they done. Think it's it's part of their routine. They think it's, it's, it's like it's, a, a bonus. Yeah, like I'll get it if I have the funds this week. Yeah, or yeah, and yeah. I and that's instead not of like, making it part of your instead routine, instead of it being so, a necessity. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely, necessity. absolutely. People, I feel like for me. um even with not even just with the skincare and the facials, waxing. Mm -hmm. Women, I have found that women are like, "Oh no, I'm good with my hair and nails done," and you know, being as compassionate as I can be, who a more polished. Yeah, but I'm I have to I be compassionate because uh, me as an esthetician, I look at you and see something else. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? I was like, I don't want to mess that. She say some people are okay with it. I'm okay, so I wasn't going to bring that up, but I mean, some women are okay with that. I can't force you to change those things, but I try to say, self, again, what I, the services I provided, that I provide to clients, she does all, do something. Okay, now. Okay. What are we doing now? Nothing. Go ahead, darling. I am not, I am so confused. Anyway. We're telling people what they should do. I was saying if they didn't want to wax, because some people are scared about wax, and I said they can bleach. That's an option. You I'm about to get them that laser hair removal option in a short period of time coming up in here. We're going to do That's an option as well. There are multiple Listen, options. In I the have more, sir, I offer more services than makeup. <laughs> I, for me, for makeup, I want you to start with skincare. That makes my job as a makeup oh, artist yeah, for sure. so much easier. For sure. I know the clients who drink water. I know the ones who do not because the ones who do, I do not have to, re I'm not required to use as much product on them. I just want my clients to realize skincare uh hair removal that is not a bonus self-care service that is something that should be part of your regular routine whether you get it from me or someone else but when you come to fashion savvy we are a full service salon it's not really too much you cannot get in here friday was an example we did hair makeup yeah, makeup nails outfit, dress nails. the clients from head to toe <laughs> they smelled a certain way when they left we provided the makeup for, i mean like it's yeah. a whole vibe in here, but a lot of people don't know that. That's why and I put on here. Come check it out. Cup too. 
for coffee. Oh, oh, oh okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tamara coffee. makes an amazing coffee. lavender latte. I do make lavender <laughs> coffee. For coffee. <laughs> I do. We pass out lavender coffee. Yes. Only. <laughs> <laughs> So seriously, you guys, so this is just part one. We just wanted to stop in. We wanted to tell you about us, um, tell you what the services we provide at Fashion Savvy Beauty Bar, how we work together. We love working together. We've been working together for a very long time. We love what we do. As and we, we love, absolutely. We have a yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll let everybody say a little bit of what they do and where you can find them. And if they have like a tip for them, for the audience. You don't want to go first? No. She always want to go last, y'all, with brunch and everything. <laughs> everything. I'll go first. There you go. Well, Somebody. again, I'm Miko Tatum Beauty Studios. That's how you can find me on social media, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm also, my website is also linked to Fashion Savvy Beauty Bar's um, Instagram page, correct? And website. And website. Um, I provide, again, skincare. I have a, a cosmetic line. I do waxing. I also do body contouring as well. The best thing I can tell you guys to do is contact me. There's no question that it's too silly. I want everybody to feel comfortable with asking me anything. And come here, let me provide some of the services for you that you think are extra services that you will realize is just part of your normal skincare. I mean, your self-care routine. Absolutely. You still, okay, go ahead. She's still like that. Go ahead. She don't know she So I'm Brittany. Over. I am the owner, again, of B3 Hair. Um, I do have a product line that I um, sell. Um, provide for my clients as well and I do use them when I'm styling um, it is available for pickup or delivery I do have a website and online store I have online booking which is at www.b3hair.com you can also find me on social media Instagram and Facebook at b3 hair um, and I am also located on the fashion savvy beauty bar as well I have a link located on there are you ready now? She don't have Is a choice. I'm going last. Was that long enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't get for you. Me? You go next. Two seconds. Don't get it. I am Siobhan, and I am a hairstylist here at Fashion Savvy Beauty Bar. Um, I can be reached on Instagram. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sure? Social media, <laughs> social media, she Instagram and Facebook. No, More so Instagram um, at Siobhan Johnson eight oh four. That's it. I think we covered it all. Please, especially in at this, this time season. Of the season yeah. Drink plenty of water. Stay hydrated. Right you stay hydrated. Yeah. Your your hair, your skin oh, stays yeah. hydrated. Stay hydrated. Please wrap your hair with something. Just wrap something around. <laughs> some, some, form some form of protection. Some form of protection when you go to that sleep. Top, it it helps. When you it work goes out. a long way. It goes a long way. It, it goes does. a long way. It's with a satin I mean, pillowcase. Even with the satin pillowcase. Just saying. You ready now? All right, you guys. I'm Tamala. I can be found at Tamala.Clark on Instagram. Shop Fashion Savvy, Fashion Savvy Beauty Bar. And also the owner of Detroit Gal as well. So you can find us there. My tip is take care of yourself. Self-care is very important. It's very important for your, like, maintaining, like, your health. Make sure you drink your water for your nails as well. <laughs> um, and thanks for joining us. Self-care is not selfish. No, no it's not. Good Self-care is not selfish. Oh, 20. I like no, no, that. I said it. How's yeah. that 20? Because we're sitting next to each other. <laughs> Bye, Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye.